Okay guys, welcome back. So we have a special guest that travelled all the way in from Chicago today. Yep. We've got Nick with us. Nice uh, to see you, pal. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. So Nick won uh, a contest that we had uh, done uh, as part of our sort of getting to 10,000 followers on Instagram. Yeah. Um, so we were, were kind of hoping we could get someone in to have a, a putting experience with us. And we've got Nick all the way from Chicago, which is yeah, brilliant. Yeah, flew in this morning. So pretty excited, uh, uh, excited to be here. So this is pretty cool because this isn't your first fitting experience. You're, you're not a rookie to this. You've done it before. Yeah. Uh, not on Quintic, but you have had another experience yeah, in the Yeah, I was on the Sam Putt Lab. Right. So a okay. little bit different than what this is. Yeah, a little bit different. A really good system, um, but has, a, has some different kind of sort of measurement parameters. Quintic is very obviously ball roll centric, yeah. hence the name Quintic Ball Roll, but also gives us a lot in the delivery. So uh, give us a little background about your putting. Yeah. Well, let's start in your handicap. What's the cap yeah. at right now? So right now I'm right around a six. Great. Uh, yeah. yeah, playing not as much, like I told you earlier, yeah. I had a little had newborn. Yep, yep, so, awesome. but we're still, you know, practicing as much as I can. Good. Putting green down the basement, which is one of the big issues, because yeah, I got, Four oh, putters at the <laughs> house, so it's figuring out which so one So that's the needs. recipe for yeah. tinkering. Yep, so exactly. So get back to the basement and see what's going on. Um, so you've got four putters in the current rotation? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, the one that's currently in rotation is a Toulon San Diego putter. Okay. So we've, we've, um, we've got yep. one of those here, so we're going to start with that as our base. But without, I don't have this the stroke lab shaft. Interesting. Enough. Yeah. Um, okay, so that'll be curious to hear your take on Stroke Lab and yeah. how it feels different on, on weight distribution and balance and all Absolutely. that sort of stuff. That's cool. Um, okay, and then you've got some other different styles. Yeah, yeah. So I have another Plumber's Neck, mm -hmm. which is a Toulon Austin. Yeah. But then I have uh, Bettinardi Queen B6 yeah. mm -hmm. and a Scotty Golo. So okay. kind of all the realms almost. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you've got your bases covered. And that's sometimes you know, what you need is a fresh look. You know, if you've got certain tendencies going on with putting, you sometimes need it, you know, the putter to do a little bit different, uh, sort of in rotation or deliver the putter in a certain way. The cool thing is, I think today we're gonna to help you understand a little bit more of why these things are happening, why your misses do what they do. Uh, we're obviously gonna get some great baseline numbers uh, for how you deliver the putter uh, on Quintic. Uh, and then subsequently what the result is from there. Yeah. Um, what are you most excited about with, with this type of putter fitting? What do, what do you want to learn the most about? So really for me, it's always, I, I fell into the trap of like, this is a beautiful putter. Yeah. Like this is the one that I want to yeah. play with, but not necessarily the one that was right for sure. me. Yeah. Um, and I think that's the main reason I've gone through so many putters yeah. is when I start to get one and it misbehaves, I switch mm -hmm. when, you know, I'd rather know this is the one that fits for your stroke, this is the one that feels the best, and I'm starting it on the line that right. I want it to. Matt and I done, uh, last Monday, we done a, a what's in the bag for each of us, and on the comments from that uh, video was, the most interesting thing was people's reaction to our take on looks and aesthetics and, you know, all that sort of stuff. And um, looks are, are, you know, important. You're, you're probably yeah. gonna have to like the look of it too keep it in the bag. What I often see is that if you don't like the look of it, it takes the slightest little thing to go wrong and it's just like, I just don't like that anymore. Yeah. Right, so you're kind of happy to get rid of it uh, if it's not kind of what you look, uh, what you like the look of. So it has a place looks, but performance and functionality and, uh, and that sort of thing. I always am of the mindset that it gets better looking the better it performs. Yeah, I, yeah, absolutely. So I think that's my biggest thing. Right? Like I didn't bring a putter with me today. Yeah, which I love, yeah, it's Which great. because I said, you know what, let's just start from scratch, see what it is. So oh that's where I'm most excited. Yeah, no, exactly. Okay, um, let's start on your greens that you put on back home. Rough, rough stamp on those. Yeah, you know, <sighs> Now that I'm playing less, mm -hmm. I find myself going to nicer courses when I do get out. Good. So they're getting, you know, right around anywhere between 10 to 13, oh, wow. kind of depending. That's they're normally pretty quick. quick. Um, with back home in Chicago, with the different weather we've been having, yeah. you know, you can get those greens that are changing too from green to yeah, green yeah, based yeah. on, you know, how that's going. So okay. pretty quick. Pretty quick. So that changes our, our kind of uh, need for the way we want the ball to, to roll. The longer the, the sort of blade uh, is on, on the greens, 
Uh, we want to get the ball up on top of that more, so we're going to look for a little more launch. Mm -hmm. uh, if we're on quicker greens, we want to keep that launch down, but we don't want too much forward rotation because those downhillers, if, if we start getting that yeah. too much uh, forward rotation, the putt can get away from us. So uh, those, are, those are really key elements to, we were having a quick chat before we started yeah. on, on sort of what to expect. You know, generally, if, if you're a good putter for, from a speed perspective, it's because you're judging the factors and the variables very well. Yeah. And you said that's something you seem to do. You don't have a problem with that. Yeah. No, my, my biggest tendency is just, I, I don't know if it's my start line or where yeah. I'm seeing, but I lip a lot of putts out. Got it. You know, it's so I'd like to just see a couple more of those yeah. fall in instead of just slipping out. 100%. And, um, you know, with, with regards to how we control the face, we're trying to control the face relative to you, the arc of your stroke. Yeah, it's all rates, right? So we have a we have a rate at which that that putter face will, will will sort of close. We're trying to match that to your your stroke, whether you're very you know straight back, straight through, whether you're aggressively arcing it. Eat, both of those things are fine. Yeah. We just have to match it up with a face angle that allows you to get back to impact at the at the right face angle. That's where you're going to get the most consistency. Got it. All right. Excellent. Cool. Right. Let's get some uh, let's get some baseline numbers. So inevitably, the player who aims left and cuts it a little bit. Once you've shown them that, that they aim left, they will square themselves up and they'll miss it right. Yeah. Right? Because you, you've gone, oh, geez, that, that, that can't be a good thing to aim left. The reality is it's definitely not a bad thing. Yeah. Uh, aiming a little bit left. It's just what you do. It's what you need to do to, okay. to make it. It's like, it's like aiming down the right because you draw the ball. Got it. It's just exactly the same thing. So, um, Nice roll. Silky smooth stroke. You're definitely putting fast greens with a with a stroke as smooth as that. <clears throat> so there's there's the there's the, the kind of cut stroke yeah, you spoke about. Yeah. Okay, so a little bit of an out to in path. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, face. We aim that a little bit, you know, on the on too much on the left left hand side. So the face was open, but it's open to the start alignment, right? Okay. So you aimed a little bit more left and mm -hmm. then you had the face uh, a little more open than that. It was about 2.7 degrees open there. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's hit a couple more. Sure. On the course, uh, certainly today, it looks like the, the miss would, would most likely be on the left side, but on the course, what would your miss tendency be? So, like with my San Diego that I have, this yeah. style ahead with that neck alignment, mm -hmm. I tend to miss it right. Okay. So it's almost like I hit that, like you said, that cut, yeah. leave that face open a little bit, yeah. and it just stays out right. Okay. And I kind of lip a lot out that way. Got it. Yeah, and that's back to that kind of initial co uh, a question on where do you put, do you put on, you know, quicker greens or slower greens? So that launch at 0 0.7 would be very much on the lower side. So you know, on this surface, we don't require really any launch because you're not getting up on top of anything. Yeah. But, uh, and, and that's a bit more like the, the greens you put on, you're dealing with less length on, on the blade. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's not a, not a big deal. Uh, okay, so let's, let's work, in through, work through some slightly different putter styles here. Okay. Um, the amount of toe hang this putter has is, is definitely uh, playing its role in that open-faced uh, sort it. of scenario. So in order to get that putter to come in a little bit more square, uh -huh. we're going to require a little bit less toe hang. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're going we're to just get you into sure. something a little bit more face balance. So instantly, you know, our, our kind of so observation would be, you know exactly where the face is here. Yeah. So, um, you know, three for three, just putting it down, okay, that, that initially it looked a little funny to you, but um, you, you got a real good awareness and the face matched the stroke. So yeah. that, that showed in the results. So let's test that now and see what the numbers look like. Great. Nice. 
That definitely felt more middle toe. Your strike was perfect. So 0 0.03 in heel. So still marginally in the heel. Really? Yeah, touch. But I mean, we're talking about like such a small amount. It's, yeah. it's, 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 not, even, it's not even a factor. Yeah. Um, launch and, and spin is, is good. Face is still a little bit, little bit open to the path. That looked like the, one of the best strokes you've put on it in, it felt, in the it last felt, little It felt bit, like yeah. the toe actually. Much, much better yeah. than that one. I didn't see nearly as much rise. I'd be very curious to look at the club twist on this one because it looks like you struck it really well. Yeah, perfect strike. Yeah, that one felt good. I mean, you know, we've, we've got enough backdated videos on, on me saying what optimal numbers are. Yeah. One and a half launch, 30 RPMs of forward spin. Um, we're keeping that, any hook or cut spin below 20 is, is exactly where we want it. Yeah. Um, we've actually increased your rotation a little bit. So your rotation early on was about 20 degrees. Mm -hmm. um, for you, we want to increase it so we're not missing out on the right side. So if we can yeah. get that putter to increase a little bit of its rotation, that's how we keep that face angle down. Um, and we, we don't allow it to get up into the two, three degrees open, okay. that sort of stuff. If, if I could recreate, if I could bottle that last putt and just yeah. give you that to take, that would be, yeah, that'd be, that'd great. be really good. Yeah, I love that. Really I felt, good. I felt just like the last one, actually. So, one of the things that I like about this, if, if you know, on the face technology, so if, if we look at the, uh, the, the groove depth. Yeah. Okay, so the grooves are the deepest in the middle, mm -hmm. and then the, the, the sort of gapping starts to get a little bit um, narrower, and the, 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 actually the, the groove itself, the outside of the groove, gets thicker. Yeah. Basically, what that is is to keep the, the ball speed constant. You do stray enough into the, the heel where that matters. Yeah. If every putt you were giving me sort of blue, blue, green, so that last one, like you say, was, was good. So that's the first putt actually today we've had, we've had under, under the one degree. So that's, that's a, a really good sign. So again, rate of mm -hmm. rotation was really good there. But if you do stray into that heel, you're going to see way less of that ball coming up short because you're going to get the same energy Got transfer. It. That goes back to that impact ratio mm -hmm. we were talking about early on. So check out your last, like, five, six putts. 170, 170, 171, 172, 171, 170. Consistent. Everything's really consistent. Yeah. So th that rate at which the ball's coming off the putter face is, is the same. So you're not going to get any surprises in, in, in that sort of regard. Really good. Yeah, from a strike perspective, th this has been by far the, the best, most consistent. We're not getting nearly as many uh, of, of those kind of, you know, face snap and shut. Yeah. Um, I love that for you. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's really going to help kind of solidify some of the things you've been struggling with. More on the face balance side of things to, to kind of stop that face staying a little bit more on the open. For sure. Yeah, so I think that's really going to help. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Nick, it was awesome. Thanks a lot. I really thanks, appreciate bud. it. Thank you for coming yeah, all thanks. the way. We really appreciate it. Guys, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, lots more stuff to come on the, the Putter Studio this year. Um, we, we say that all the time, but we, we promise we'll do a little bit more in the next few weeks.